Now, why would I be telling you that you don't need to think about these things when all the messages and all the trainings out there are telling you that there's a right way to do this and you need to learn how it is? Well, it's because I know that you were born to do this. You were designed to learn. And when you have a clear intention, you're designed to learn through taking action, to see what happens, to notice that, and to come back to this intelligence within you that indicates, that guides you in the best thing for you to do right now, next, in real time. It's only activated through action and feedback. It is not activated through thinking or planning or studying somebody else's formula. When you know this, you can have a clear intention, hold it loosely, and then create from it knowing that if you stay in the game long enough, if you stay at this long enough, you will find your way. There is experimentation happening here. There is a learning curve. I'll share this with my experience of making 100 YouTube videos. So I'm doing this 100 YouTube videos challenge. And my intention for this was simply to make these videos and discover what message wanted to be expressed through me as I showed up and did them. And to notice whatever I might notice about the feedback I did or didn't get on these videos. And that's exactly what I've been getting. In the process, I've been discovering how I want to show up in creating videos, what my voice is like, what message I want to share that's happening quite naturally, and what's responding and what's resonating and what isn't resonating with the people in my community and audience. Now, I did what many of us will do. I began to compare myself with another student in this YouTube program that I'm taking right now who was doing a similar challenge. And they reported something like thousands of views within days because they had been using keyword phrases and getting creative with the names of celebrities in relation to the topic that they're talking about. And I thought, oh no, I'm not doing this right. How come I'm not getting that result? And then I caught on and I said, oh, what are they focusing on, Steph? Well, they were focusing on getting the most views for their videos. And that's their learning curve. That's the direction they're going in. What were you focused on, Steph? Well, I was focused on what I just told you. I was focused on the creation process for me and discovering what this message is all about and who's responding to it naturally. I was not at all focused on getting more views. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I'm getting what I was focused on, and this other person was getting what they were focused on. That's the learning curve. We're each on different learning curves, and that's the power of identifying what your intention is for this message of yours that you're going to be exploring. The cool thing is that you can change it, just like me. Right now, I'm thinking, oh, I might want to focus a little bit more on getting some views. Now that I have a sense for the message that I want to put out there and what's resonating with people, now I can think about what if I, what, if, what could I do? What might I try to get more views? And I can do this in a relaxed way. You can do this in a relaxed way because you know that whatever input you're putting into your GPS, wherever you're programming your GPS to go, you are designed, this beautiful creative mind that you have is designed to take you in that direction. 